Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you Windows 10 build 14977 for mobile. This build is the latest fastering build for Windows Insiders as part of the future creators update, which is expected to come out sometime in spring next year. I will note that these builds are buggy, and I wouldn't recommend installing them onto your main device. Users with devices that only have 8GB of internal storage may run into an error when trying to install this build. It is a known issue, so I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't worry about it if you encounter it. It has been a while since we've seen a build for mobile, because the last few builds have mostly been revolved around PC. Speaking of PC, EPUB files. Um, the EPUB support that we saw in the last build on PC in Edge has been extended over to mobile, so now you can open files in the .epub format in Microsoft Edge on your Windows phone. Um, it has a very similar UI to that on PC, although it is a lot, like, incredibly, incredibly glitchy. So it's not the best experience right now, but it's nice to see that that support has been added. Aside from that, there isn't really that much to see in this build, aside from the bug fixes and under the hood tweaks and enhancements. Um, among those things, though, you can now launch the camera app from the glance screen, which was a weird issue that was in the last few builds, and now background audio playback issues have been fixed, such as when you were playing a Pandora playlist in the background, it would randomly cut out. That shouldn't happen anymore. There also have been a few app updates that were released alongside but not directly associated with this build, such as an update to the store app. You'll find that the weird background blurred out gradient thing has been removed, so it's now just a straight black background. Also, the title of the app is bold now. I hope that they'll do something interesting with the store, but it's nice to see that they're trying to change things up a little bit. The People app has also seen a little bit of a change. The tabs at the top are now more like that that you saw in the Photos app update a, sh a few months ago, as well as a little pop for the people circles as you open the pages. Something that I've heard a lot of people vocalizing about is the UWP rendering technology. So those people would be glad to know that that is being experimented with in this build going forward. So there might be some visual glitches in UWP apps as a result of these changes, but do, do provide feedback if you encounter them. Feedback from both insiders and app developers got it to Microsoft that third-party alarm apps couldn't break through quiet hours, which has now been resolved. Although Windows insiders who provided hostile feedback for the poor reliability of the built-in alarms clock after sleeping through their alarms have nothing to benefit from this. Although if you do indeed have a legitimate concern, uh, please do provide feedback. Anyhow, this has been a quick little build update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out OnMicrosoft.com to continue receiving updates about the future of Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, and the future Windows 10 Creators update. Thank you. Goodbye.